Adelaide engineer Frank Bottrell goes down into history as the builder of some of Australia's biggest tractors. Big Lizzie, the biggest of them all, was designed and assembled by Bottrell with help from A.H. McDonnell and Company. Built in 1915, Big Lizzie was just over 10 metres long, weighed 45 tonnes and was powered by a 60 horsepower single cylinder crude oil engine. Originally destined to transport goods to outback regions, Broken Hill in particular, Big Lizzie ended up land clearing using a technique especially devised for it. The technique involved 16 men and two 2.5 two centimetre steel cables, each 30 metres long, ahead and behind the machine. Anything in its way certainly didn't stand a chance. Bottle was frustrated in his attempts to get to Broken Hill, the Murray being in flood when he tried. With debts mounting, he was forced to head south to Horsham. To clear his debts, he began clearing land for one of his financiers, R.S. Faulkner, the famous agriculturalist. Difficulties arose and Bottrell abandoned Big Lizzie in Horsham. The tractor had a safe speed of not more than one and a half k's. It required a distance of 60 metres and 80 wheel turns to take a corner. It was nearly five and a half metres high and three and a half metres wide. The engine alone weighed eight tonnes. The dreadnought or pedrail drive wheels, a patented bottle speciality, were 183 centimetres in diameter, 122 centimetres wide, each with six bearers two metres long. The front wheels were 122 centimetres in diameter, 76 centimetres wide, with six 137 centimetre bearers. In 1971, Big Lizzie was retrieved from Horsham and delivered to Redcliffs in Victoria amidst much fanfare. And still today, the huge tractor is a permanent fixture on display near the Calder Highway. Prior to the enactment of the Tractor Bounty Act, there had been much debate and discussion. At a public inquiry in Melbourne in 1924, Ronaldson Brothers and Tippett from Ballarat raised the issue of fairness and payment of the bounty for Australian-produced tractors. They said, if, for instance, half of the money spent in production is expended in Australia and half on imported parts, then the Australian firm should receive half the bounty. This would act as an incentive to produce all parts in Australia and thus receive 100% of the bounty. It was some eight years before the Act was brought about and on the 22nd of September 1933, the House of Representatives brought in a bill for the Tractor Bounty Act. The Act provided payment of a bounty on the Australian parts used in the production of tractors, not sales. The bill covered only agricultural tractors and was to be reviewed every five years. Depending on horsepower, the rate of bounty ranged between $64 and $144. This rate was based on tests and information on four tractors then in Australia. The Case, the Twin City, the EB and the Rumley. The amount paid could not exceed $70,000 to one manufacturer in a financial year. The Bristol 20 was brought to Australia from England as a part of the post-war flood of foreign tractors. A small crawler with flexible rubber bushes and an Austin Model A70 diesel engine, it came with an angle dozer blade, making it great for correcting soil erosion.